In today's video, you're going to learn how to add a calendar link to your website. This is super useful for any type of event where you need people to save a date on the calendars. So now I'm going to show you an example of what I'm talking about. This is a website I created in WordPress with the DV theme. If you don't know DV, it's a very popular theme to develop WordPress websites, especially for the ease of its visual builder. In other videos, I will show you more about DV. Uh, in the comments below, you will find a link to learn more. So, as you can see, here we have the event information, date, speakers, and a button to add to the calendar. Clicking on the button, opens the Google Calendar page, so you can add the event to your personal calendar. It's very useful if you are creating a, an event website. And as you can see here, there are some information about the, the event, like the name, the date and time, a description. So how do I create this link to your schedule the event? So to create a link, we will go to this site, calendar.link. This is a really useful free tool, so thank you very much to the developer. If you find it useful, consider buying him a coffee with this button. So what you have to do is basically fill in the details of your event. I'm going to do that now. Event. I'm going to add a description. I'm going to set a start date. This, is, this will be a one hour event. You need to select your time zone. And once you're done, click this button. This will take you to the page with the code you need and where you can do the edit of the details of the event. So the first thing you will see is the link to edit the, the event. This one here, uh, save it. This is a very important link because it's the only way you can access again the details of the event in case you need to edit them, change the time or the description. This link will allow you to do that. After that, you will see uh, the information we previously added, like the title, description, the location in case we have one, the event date and time, and the time zone. And after that, below that, you will see an event landing page. I'm going to show you how it looks like. You can share this link and use this web page so people can add the event from different services to their personal calendars. Below that, you will see uh, there's a module that allows you to add the links to different calendars in two different styles. Horizontal with dots, like these ones, and horizontal space separated, which basically takes out the dots. If you want to embed this on your website, you can click on here, and that will copy the HTML code. And at the end, finally, you will see the direct links to each service. In this case, we're going to use Google Calendar, but you could use any or all if that's what you need. So I'm going to copy the link. Now uh, we go back to the website. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder so I can Add the link to the button I want to. So click on the button, go to settings, go to where you set the link, paste the URL. I'm going to choose to open it in a new tab and click on OK. Once you're done, save the changes. And we're going to 
exit the before builder so we can check it works fine so let's go to the button and click on it and as you can see it's going to open in a new tab the calendar the google calendar page with the information of our event it's that easy it's super useful uh, and it's free so which makes it a great tool and this is how you can add a calendar link to your website uh, one one thing i haven't mentioned is that you can do the same uh, you can add a link or this module with the with all the services to your emails for example if you use mailchimp copy the service link uh, you want and add it to as a link to a button or you can copy the module with all the services and add it as an html block inside your email uh, which is super useful so again thanks to the developer who made this great tool available to everyone and that's it i hope you find it useful i appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel like the video and leave a comment or question below thanks for watching